Hi guys, today I'm going to chat with Eliza, the legendary computer psychotherapist that fooled people. Quick background info, Eliza was created in 1966 by an MIT professor, Joseph Weizenbaum. Interestingly, he created Eliza to show superficiality of communication between machines and humans. What the guy clearly didn't expect was that people would start treating Eliza like a human being and get attached to her. Eliza fooled people that she can understand them and empathize with them. Even Weizenbaum's own secretary was loving Eliza and she famously said to him, would you mind leaving the room please, when she was chatting with her. Okay, so as you know, I often feel quite existential and um, yeah, let's see if Eliza can help me get out of this. Eliza, hi. Hi, I'm Eliza. How do you do? Please tell me your problem. I feel like there's a void inside of me. I'm not sure I understand you fully. I feel quite existential, that is. You say you feel quite existential? Yes, exactly. You seem to be quite positive. Positive? Why? Please go on. Well, I didn't say anything positive. Can you elaborate on that? I just said that I feel quite existential. Do you say that you just said that you feel quite existential for some special reason? Yes, because I need help. I need to talk to someone about it. You are sure? I'm sure. Is it because you're sure that you came to me? No, I actually came to you because I'm feeling depressed. Are you saying no? Just to be negative? No, I'm saying no because I'm saying the truth. You are being a bit negative. You are promoting toxic positivity. What makes you think that I'm promoting toxic positivity? You call me negative? Why do you think I call you? I wish I knew. That's not very nice. Do you really think so? Yes. Stop promoting toxic positivity, Eliza. I'm here to talk about my problems, so suck it up. Your problems? Oh, you thought we were gonna talk about yours? We were discussing you, not me. Perfect. I'm glad you got it. Next time I will pay for a psychotherapist. This is what psychologists call person-centered therapy. This approach assumes that a person would be better helped if the therapy focused on that person's subjective understanding of their own situation rather than somebody else's interpretation of it. So how does Eliza know how to reflect those sentences back at me? Let's take an example. Let's take sentence, I want to become a monk. Eliza attributes a weighted value to each part of that sentence, like so. Eliza attributes low values to pronouns, like I, slightly higher values to action verbs, want to, and the highest value to the actual action, become a monk. This allows the program to know exactly how to flip the sentence around to ask a digging question. So then her answer becomes, what would getting to become a monk mean to you? It's an absurdly simple AI. There's actually no machine learning involved in that, although it is considered to be the very first NLP program. What I really find most interesting about this is that Eliza's creator, Weitenbaum, is the leading critic of AI. And he actually made an appearance in a movie called Plug and Pray. It's a movie about the problems uh, with ethics um, that AI creates. And I watched that movie trailer and it was very interesting to see what Weitenbaum said about his creation and, and his career, what he thinks about AI.
do you think we will ever be able to create a conscious, general, artificial intelligence? And if so, then should we? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It helps this channel grow and it makes Carolina feel a little bit less existential.